thing given for communication that was given for creativity. I'm going to say that again. The original purpose in us speaking wasn't to communicate. It was to create. Amen. God said, let there be light. He made us in his image, and he gave us the ability to what? Create heaven on earth. He, he didn't create us to stay in Eden. He created us to make Eden wherever we went. Everywhere my foot treads is blessed. Why? Because I create with my mouth. Amen. All that I be why because it's a key, that is a kingdom law. Amen. It is a law of confession. Amen. Right. The next law, the law of love. I can't promise we're going to go through every law step by step, but we're going to get you know we'll come back and touch on these every now and then. But the law of love, Galatians five six says that faith works through love. love. Faith works through love. That's a law. Amen. Amen. It's not the law of the denomination. It's the law of faith. It's the law of the kingdom. Hallelujah. So we have the law of love, the law of faith, the law of confession, the law of tithing, and the law of sowing and reaping. Amen. Amen. Here's the kingdom prom pro uh, process. Number one, you receive a promise from God. Number two, you believe the promise. You get the promise, you believe the promise. You have to believe the promise. That's how confession works. You believe the promise. Yes. Amen. And then guess what number three is? You meditate on the promise. You think about that promise. You meditate. Meditation brings revelation. Amen. Revelation brings you to a place where you see your victory. We sing that song all the time. I see a victory. Meditating on the promise brings you to a place where you actually see the victory. Amen. And as you see the victory, the last part of the, prom the process is you act on the promise. Amen. Amen. That's our job. That's my job is to teach you the process. Your job, I will teach you that next week. Mm -hmm. But guess what you can do between now and then? Live in the kingdom. Amen. You, you can live in the kingdom. Amen. You can go to work tomorrow and realize I'm not going to step into a stressful situation or environment. I'm stepping into this role as a king. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. But my job didn't change. It doesn't have to change. Your attitude changes. That's right. Amen. Because all of a sudden I realize that I'm not working for a living I live for a living. Come on now. Amen. I don't work for a living. I live by faith. My job, I'm no longer told. I refuse to toil. Amen. It's not that I quit, I'm going to quit working. Come on now. Right. But I'm going to quit toiling. Because Amen. Amen. as I sit on this job, whether you want to excel or not, I know some people who don't like responsibility and they don't want, they don't want to move up the chain of command. You don't have to. Amen. But God can bless you where you're at. Right. He can give you witty ideas and God inventions. Amen. He can yeah. take, yeah. you can sit there you can, and God can show you better ways or other ways to do your job Amen. where you're more efficient yes. than those around you doing Amen. the same thing. Amen. You know, people, who, not everybody understands that. Right. I, look, when I was working in a secular job, I had no experience. I mean, it didn't take much to pour coffee and light cigarettes, but I never worked that job before, right? right. Working in activities at a nursing home. And, and I remember going in there, and, and God, God immediately, why? Because there was anointing on my life. Yes. I am a priest, but he allowed me to step into the role of king there. Yes. Amen. He eventually allowed me to move from king to priest there, where I began to move in the office of priest on the job. But while I was working as a king, he gave me authority as a king, and he began to show me other ways, better ways to do the job. Amen. 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 And then he'll give you the wisdom, and this is where I lacked. He gave me the wisdom of how to share that knowledge. Yeah. Because they'll come up and say, I need you to do this, 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 this. And you go, well, there's a better way. What? And trust me. God showed me this is a better way. And see, that can happen in your job. Yes. Amen. It doesn't matter if you just got hired yesterday. That's right. 
and somebody else has been there 20 years. Amen. You have the Spirit of God on the inside Amen. of you, and God can show you a better, more efficient way. If you want promotion, God will give you promotion. Amen. He'll promote you as far as you want to go. Amen. Even if it means, you know what? I'm going to promote you. You own your own company. That's right. You own your own company. God's going to give you wisdom on how to grow that company. Amen. Why? Because you're a king. But I don't have experience. But you're a king. But I don't have... You're a king. God will give you wisdom. That's why you have to hook up to kingdom dynamics and live by faith. Amen. Living by faith realizes, God, even in my business, I'm going to live according to you. I am a Christian at work. Amen. Glory. Amen. And I'm going to live like I live in by faith at work. I'll follow the rules. I'll do what they say. But Father, I'm dependent on you for wisdom. I'm dependent on you for favor. I'm dependent on you for grace. Father, I am not working for a living. I thank you that as I work, you're providing seed. Now that my job is no longer my source, Amen. my job is simply a resource. Amen. Right. My job provides seed. Yes. Amen. Amen. I read a story the other day about this. I'm trying to close. I really am. I read this story the other day about this gentleman in World War II. World War I, I think, maybe. Anyway, one of the two. And uh, he really wanted to build these giant um, farm equipments and stuff like that. And, and God finally, you know, he got into the business. And, and God began to, to bless it and began to bless it. And he began to tithe. And, and this business grew and became one of the leading in the world in this industry. And, and, and now there's like a museum and people talk about how his tithing is what accelerated him. Well, how do you know you, he, it was the tithe? Because when he chose not to tithe, sales dropped. When he tithed, sales went up. He went from tithing 10% and living on the 90 to the last part of his life, selling the 90 and living on just the 10. Amen. Amen. Why? Kingdom living. Kingdomnomics. His company, his business wasn't his source. Amen. It was a resource. Amen. And that's, that's kingdom living. Understand, you go to work tomorrow, you don't go because you owe, you owe, you owe. It's off the work you go. You go because it's a resource. Amen. And you, I'm a king. This is a resource. God can use this source to finance his kingdom. Amen. And I'm no longer stressed because God's my source. Amen. God's my source. I'm living by faith. Amen. God, you're my source. I'll do what you tell me to do. Because you're, you're king. You're God in this theocracy. And I'm your king. Whew. What a difference it makes. You'll begin to see living in the kingdom changes everything about you. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I come to you right now in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. First of all, for those that are watching on YouTube or on Facebook, Father, I think that we've had an address, address change. And we are now living in the kingdom by kingdom principles under the leadership of God Almighty. This is a theocracy, Father. And Father, I think that as we take our roles and our positions, whether it's kings or priests, Father God, we begin to operate and live by faith that we're blessed. We're blessed, Father. I thank you that our job is no longer our source but our resource. We're blessed, Father. We're no longer stressed at work because my job is not my source. I'm no longer tired at work because my job is not my source. I'm not no longer agitated at work because my job is not my source. I'm blessed. I live as a king in the kingdom. Father, I thank you for that in Jesus' name. And those are going to say, Amen. Amen and Amen.